back to my channel. So today I am in my laundry room and I'm gonna try and tackle getting it cleaned really good. You're gonna see in a second how dirty it is. And just getting stuff organized. Um, I had gotten some bins a while ago and I just haven't had a chance to really get everything organized and um, put the way that I want it. And I have some other things. I'll show you in a little bit of what I'm gonna do. And I'm also gonna clean it. Um, the floors need to be done, all of that. So let me show you where stuff is at right now and we'll get started all right so it is a pretty cloudy day so bear with me on the lighting but here's all the stuff that I want to get organized and put up into these shelves I used to have kind of just random um, bins and baskets and stuff like that up in the shelves but now I want to have something that's a little more unison and I want to be able to label stuff so I have these containers right here from Target. Um, there's two different sizes here and I want to try to organize everything in here. This is real life and also there's dirt from my husband's work boots and the trash needs to be emptied. <laughs> so anyways, this is all got to get cleaned and everything wiped down really well and as you can see, this is like my little shelf to put laundry like the stuff I'm currently using and it's kind of ending up being a catch-all because stuff isn't organized and all that. So. I am going to go ahead and start wiping these down and get stuff kind of where I want it to be. I got everything kind of divided out how I want it so these are my microfiber cloths and rags and things like that this is bleach and extra laundry detergent that's not up on my little shelf this is like specialized cleaners like wood cleaners things like um, that would be for kind of a specific thing um, this is my multi-purpose sprays this is for anti back um, like antibacterial sprays and Windex or um, stuff that has to do with cleaning windows. This is for paper towels. I generally buy my paper towels in packs of two, so I think I could squish two rolls in there if I needed to. This here is um, like uh, linen spray, air fresheners, and carpet powder. So I decided it's gonna go in that one. And then these two are like a little bit of a shallower bin. And I'm just going to put in um, just kind of random stuff like my iron, rubber gloves, scrubbies, Mr. Cleaning Racers, that sort of stuff. So now I'm going to get the labels put on everything. I'm going to attach um, these labels with these twisty ties onto the baskets. And they are like, a ch I was actually doing a little bit of a testing here. They're a chalkboard type material. And then this little thing is really cool. I'm going to see if I can find an Amazon link because if I would have known about this, this. I would have gotten one a long time ago. Sorry, I have scrape, spray paint in my fingernail um, that won't come out. So, the, anyways, um, this little thing is a like almost like a stone. I would say it's made out of. I don't know exactly what it's called. A chalk stone, a chalk something like that. Um, and it's really cool. And you can see how well it writes on these little pieces and on chalkboards. So I'm gonna see if I can find a link. My mom gave me this, that's why I'm not sure where it came from. So I'm gonna see if I can find a link for it. And if I can, you guys need to go and get yourself some for writing on chalk, um, chalkboard type stuff. All right, I got all of the labels put onto these and um, I just attached them. The one side had a hole punched in it and the other side didn't. It was kind of a tag, it's, they're called chalkboard tags. So I just took a little, um, thumbtack here and uh, just put a hole into it and of course you can see I had some trial and errors with this um, just not where I wanted the words placed and stuff so I had to rewrite it so on these two I just kind of did something fun um, just put stuff and things because it's just kind of random stuff um, and then up here I have my linen spray air freshener and carpet powder paper towels 
specialty cleaners, multi-purpose sprays, uh, glass and antibacterial spray, um, laundry and bleach, and then just cleaning cloths in that one. So I love how this turned out. It was super simple to just attach and um, just, yeah, just really easy. And I have a little tip for you guys. If you're ever writing on labels and you don't like your handwriting, which I don't really like my handwriting that much, but something to make it seem a little more orderly um, is to make all of the letters in uh, cap. So just do the letters capital instead of making uppercase and lowercase letters. And I feel like it just kind of makes it look a little bit more put together. And a lot of times if you write it relatively straight, it just looks more put together. So that's a little tip for you guys if you're ever writing on labels. So next, I think I'm gonna take these upstairs. I haven't um, done much of anything to them yet. I wanna take the sticker off of this. These are just old gallon jars that probably at one time had pickles in them or something like that. Um, I found them, I think all three of them at a yard sale for maybe like a dollar each or something like that. Um, but I want to wash them up really good. I'm going to empty this one out and wash it up. And then um, I think what I plan to put in these is like clothespins, um, just like probably borax or baking soda, something like that. Stuff that I add to my laundry once in a while depending on if it smells bad or whatever. And then I may also put laundry pods in this. Um, I'm not sure. I don't really think I'm going to label them just because you can kind of see what's in them. And at some point, Corey's great grandma actually has a Cricut, which is something that prints out like really cool looking lettering and stuff and maybe at some point I'll put lettering on them but for now I'm just going to leave them empty and you can kind of see what's in it. It's pretty obvious. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy I don't need that much, need that much how can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me Got these guys all sticker and label free and I'm gonna clean up this, organize it, clean up um, this other stuff. I need to scrub the sink out. Uh, it is a stained, stained, stained sink, but at least I keep it clean. <laughs> Anyways, and hopefully the sun will come out again so I can get some better lighting going on in here, but um, now for the real cleaning. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. Uh, just in time for me to show you the end result so everything is nice and clean I washed the rug mopped the floors wiped everything down added some little greenery there and just some fun little touches and 
got everything really organized. I feel so much better. And then this is my current um, laundry stuff I'm using. It's just the method, um, I think ginger mango, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, down there. And then these are like the little boosters. Um, they're kind of like um, uh, the unstoppables, but like a more natural version. And I love getting all of my stuff off of Grove. If you guys are new to Grove, I'll leave my link below and you can get some really awesome free products. And I just have a scrub brush in there, um, just because we scrub a lot of things at the sink. And then I keep dish soap down here too, just because we wash the dog bowl and that sort of thing um, in this in our laundry room sink. And it is really, really, really a stained up sink. I've looked for ways to like refinish it or cover it or paint it with like a some kind of paint. And I haven't found anything. So if you guys know of anything of how to refinish a really old um stained and dinged up sink let me know um here's where my cordless vac uh charges and that's my mop back there i actually made this myself um this was a piece from an old scrap yard that i just hung up here and then i got these at walmart and just they're metal so we just bent them out so that they would fit the end of my poor ironing board that i've had forever um and this cover, I think, is from Walmart. I'm not entirely sure. Everything that I possibly can from this video, like the labels, all of that, I will link below. And then down here is, um, I just keep a trash can. The floor is stained. Sometimes I think I might paint this floor. I've seen some ways that people do it where it's durable and it lasts. So this might be a project in the future. And then my laundry baskets, um, I think are from Target. Again, if I can find this stuff, I'll link it below for you guys. So here's just an overview of this wall. And then um, this is our back door right here. And then I hung this sign up a while ago, but it is from Hobby Lobby. So it's a pretty small laundry room, but I think if I keep it organized, um, it'll be really useful. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and I will see you all in my next video.